Hello, practitioners. Have you been experiencing patients presenting to your practices, fearful of going to sleep? While we understand the urge to comfort the individual, it is imperative to advise that despite the risks, they must sleep. Warn them of voluntary insomnia and its consequences. A developing outbreak onto itself, voluntary insomniacs have been shown to be able to go without sleep indefinitely, with no way of going to sleep after a variable amount of time. Without our current information based on apprehended voluntary insomniacs, we have been able to pin down four different strains of this voluntary insomnia phenomenon and what effects it may have on an individual. Strain 1 The most mild of all case types presents as rapid aging, while there is neurodegeneration, it is mild compared to other strains. We believe that this patient is as radiant as ever. Strain 2 Characterized by a gaunt face and sharpened teeth, high neurodegeneration renders this patient rather docile. Strain 3 the most unrecognizable of physical manifestations. However, this patient is much more of a harm to themselves than anyone else. Strain 4 The most extreme phase of neurodegeneration. These patients have shown the ability to escape from custody, they are known to be aggressive. A tornado also touched down in Pecan Grove in Fort Bend County. Well, let's go back to the map and show you why this. Authorities have issued an emergency alert for. Please shelter in place, lock your doors, and most importantly, remain calm. A breach has occurred in. Voluntary insomniacs and explain nocturnal death syndrome are now at large in your local community. Please remember that these patients are dangerous, claiming the lives of 32 in the past 24 hours. We must impart to you, you could be next. Authorities to advise to sleep normally, even though you may feel uneasy given the risk of immediate unexplained nocturnal death syndrome. If you hear a knock or banging on your door, do not answer. Please remember, you could be next. Act normally. It's a little late for tears, isn't it, Barbara? Even though you didn't know it was going to happen today, you've still had your whole life to prepare for it. And now it's a little late, isn't it? Well, in just about three minutes from now, we'll be welcoming in 19...
There it is. Clock. Keep your eye on that. Everybody else is watching the ball. And they are gathered down below as we say goodbye to 1980. We are here to save the world. We are here to save your world. It's not worth it to dream.